Hello and welcome. Today we'll be looking at SanDisk entry into the M.2 form factor. This is SanDisk's A110 PCIe SSD. While it's not going to knock anyone's socks off with its performance, it is one of the more affordable M.2 drives on the market and still outperforms SATA based SSDs. Now if you watched my previous video on the Samsung M.2 SSD, you'll know that I wasn't able to get its full potential from the integrated M.2 port on my motherboard, so I had to get an adapter card. Now, with this drive, I'm able to completely max out its performance through the port on the board. To watch that video on the Samsung M.2 SSD, click the link in the description below. As I was unable to use the Samsung drive in the integrated M.2 port on the board, I needed to get something to fill that slot as I don't like having empty ports on my board. Also, with its matte black PCB, it blends in quite nicely and looks like it's part of the board. Now let's look at what kind of speeds this drive can get up to, starting with the Crystal Disk Mark tests. As you can see, the speeds are well above what you can get from a SATA SSD, unless you put a couple in RAID 0. This is perfect for me with having the Samsung drive as my main boot drive and this drive to use as a scratch disk or a cache drive. Now let's see how it performs in some real world tests, where I copy 5 movies, 1000 photos and 2000 songs to and from the drive to simulate more realistic workloads that this drive will be put under. And again, it's showing it's less than half as fast as the Samsung drive, but it is a fraction of the price, but it still outperforms SATA-based SSDs. Okay, that's it for this review. And if you liked it, like it. If you disliked it, leave a comment below. I have lots more product reviews and video ideas coming up, so don't forget to subscribe.